so soon. Said that wrong, didn't I? I've been playing The Sims since I was a teenager, and yes, I'm gonna call myself a Sim player now. Um, do you mind, Pester? But I was thinking, like, what would it be like if I painted a masterpiece from The Sims? And that's what this video is. So I'm gonna play a little bit of The Sims and get my sim up to being master level somehow of a painter and uh, see if I can accomplish in The Sims what I haven't in real life. That's a joke. Don't get me in the comments. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, that's, that light is spooky. Let's see how it goes. Okay, time to be a real gamer and put my headphones on. That's right, I am I'm a gamer. So deal with it. We know what we're here to do though. So let's just get into it. I <laughs> skip the tutorial. I don't need the tutorial. Are you crazy? Okay, I took the quiz and um Well I don't quite think that this is what my character should be. So obviously the aspirations are gonna be creativity because um that's what we're here for, lads. What's this? What's this? I don't need the tutorial. Are you crazy? I just need to be creative, genius, oh, cool and well. romantic or oh, gloomy. I guess fits like the the starving artist kind of personality there. So let's do that. Oh, no. First name, average. Oh, last name, artist. I need to make her look a little bit like me. So this is a little bit different to how I look. There we go. That's me, sort of. Let's play. I didn't do the clothes or anything because she's not gonna have any social life, basically. That's how it is. You wanna be an artist, you wanna be professional, professional. You need to like forget everyone and everything and food and money and life. I'm just kidding. Okay, so where are we gonna live? Oh my gosh, Glimmerbrook looks pretty fabulous. But she's gonna be an artist, she has to be in like the city, I think. There's absolutely nothing here. <laughs> okay, let's go. A small little place that cost me 2,000 simoleons. I am here, I am here. Right, let's build a little area. And by area, I mean her painting dungeon. The music is quite fitting actually for right now. Oh my God, I didn't mean to do that. We're, we're, we're going basic B for this, okay guys, because She's gonna decorate the house with her artwork. So for everything else, it's just gonna be like, it doesn't even matter, cause she's not gonna see it. She's gonna be working too hard. Need some lights as well, cause lights are very important for the artiste. There it is, baby, that's what we need. We can upgrade this all, of course, when we become a famous artist and the money is flowing. Okay, so don't worry guys. Is that all I need? I feel like I'm forgetting something major. It doesn't matter because we're going straight to work, lads. We're going straight to it. We're gonna go in with a small first. All right, this, <laughs> buckle up guys, because this is pretty much what we're doing the whole time. Unless she wants to make friends and then I don't know what I'm gonna do because how do you make friends? Impossible. Get off your fa- Oh, she's done it, she's done it. She's made her first painting, and we're gonna create a copy, sure. And then we're gonna sell to collector. Oh yeah, already make, already $51, that is, The Sims is lying to you. That is not how it works. <laughs> we're gonna make another painting, we're gonna go for medium this time. I don't know what happened to my, where's my inventory? Poor, quality poor, how dare you? This is an original Sim, the artist, the average artist, painting. Let me peek. Let me peek. Hmm. Let's do it in uh, quick time. Time lapse. All right, she's done it. Let's inspect. <laughs> you know what? That This is kind of on my level though, so I, I'm not, you know, let's frame it. Let's move it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I, I'm upset that people think that this is how poor quality still and yet it sells for 80 87 simoleons where you think you're going you're going nowhere mate we're painting forever we don't have a life level up yes this is the worst painting i've ever seen in my life sell this because i don't really need another sleep paralysis demon watching me whilst i sleep so we sold that one 
We're on to the next one. What's it gonna be? All of these are trash, though, okay? She's gonna have to paint 10,000 paintings before she becomes an expert, if you've heard that thing. So trash, bin it, we want the next one, we're moving on. We need to get to the top left. Okay, selling it. <laughs> we're selling it. I don't know where she thinks she can go to the toilet. It's not how it works. Paint from reference. Paint from reference. What's my reference? What? <laughs> what reference? Yes. Yes, it is funny. <laughs> what reference is that? Okay, we, you know what? We're being too critical. She is a beginner. Maybe maybe that's how she sees it, but we are selling that. That's gone. That's instantly gone. Let's do a classic painting. Milestone. Average has completed. I didn't read that. That was too quickly gone. I completed something, so... Winner? Chicken dinner kind of thing? Ooh, I quite like this one. She keeps going to the toilet. Absolutely not appropriate. Where can I put this? Over the window. Perfect. <laughs> I... Pop reference. Let's do a pop painting. No, you don't get to eat. That's not how things work. You have to make another painting, and then you can eat. Level four, already. I mean... Maybe the next levels will be more, a little bit more difficult, but... Oh, okay. You can eat some yogurt. Fine. <laughs> Spoil yourself. Um, so for reference, I will be copying one of these paintings, but more the actual, like... Well, the whole point of the video is that I'm gonna try and be, like, uh, better. Or, like, on the same level, at least. Hopefully. At least set myself up there, haven't I? Foreshadowing. Oh no, the social's going down. And nobody came around my house, so do I even want friends? Oh wait, there's someone there. Fine, let's go speak to him. No! Pause the game. Funny interjection, because that's who we be. Stop painting. For once I want you to stop painting. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Stop painting. Okay, good. Did she just... Did she just fart at him? Talk about dreams, okay, because I'm inspired, so. Blah, blah, blah. Propose a crazy scheme, describe idea. I'm gonna be one of those people that talks nothing about. Oh, he's gone. Probably because we were boring as Because all we talked about was painting. Please subscribe. <laughs> okay, she needs to sleep for a bit, but whatever. Fine. We won't call her lazy because she has basic needs, but. So demanding. Have a ham and cheese sandwich then. Jeez. Good. Okay. Oh, she's sad. Why are you sad? It doesn't make any sense. All gloomy, I guess, fits like the the starving artist kind of personality there. Oh, for goodness sake. So much effort. Now go. Resume the painting. How was the social down again? I just spoke to someone like two days ago. We need to grind. Get on with it. Although that painting is a piece of garbage. I don't know where her inspiration was for that, but mm -mm. it's nothing compared to our original small classic painting of the apple and melon. I'm gonna put it right- I know where this belongs, like here. I feel like that is a perfect place for it. All right, hurry up. We haven't got all day, okay? The social is going down and it's going down fast. We haven't got time for that. We haven't got time for the nonsense of friendship. This painting again? Not sure about it. Not- I hope that I don't have to paint something like that. Because I don't like it. Uh, let's go for realism. No, you know what my favourite is? Impressionism. So, I said do a large one and she did a small one. Is she trying to fight me? Okay, classic painting, large. Come on. We've got this in us. We're inspired for some reason. We're constantly inspired. I don't know why, because she's literally just living in this small studio space and not seeing anyone. Hardly eating, sure, hardly but... sleeping. I've gonna level up. Maybe this is the way forward. Just lock yourself up. Oh wait, that already happened. I'm gonna hang that one on the wall because I'm gonna at the end hang up all the ones that I like and then we're gonna try and like paint the same one. Don. Okay, yeah, come over. Dweeb. But why have I got the yogurt in my inventory? Can I please put this on the wall? Why? Why can't it go above my bed? Okay, right up there. That's a really great place. Oh my god, this guy has tribal tattoos. Do we really want to be... Do we really want to be making friends with this 
Absolute lad. Do not pee in front of your new friend. Don't embarrass us like that. Tell unbelievable story. And then get back to painting. Confident painting. Perfect. Okay, he's going to watch me painting. That is the actual perfect solution for my problems because look at that social going right up. Three hours, baby. Three hours? Three arrows, baby. What the f is this? What is this? We're going to frame it and we're going to put it on the wall. Why? Why am I going over here? I don't know why the music's so creepy. Painter career has begun. I'm, I'm a painter. I'm a painter. So now what? Okay. Performance is average. Hey, don't do that. Get back to painting. Wait, is this finished? Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. And it's gone. I was going to show you guys, but it's gone. At the moment, my job is a palette cleaner. Not quite sure how that makes you, like, get better as an artist, but okay. It's Again, it's not impressionism, though, is it? It's abstract, so... I'm gonna put that one on the wall though because it's pretty. I uh, maybe I need a sink. <laughs> Where's she gone? She's gone to work. Okay, fair enough. Let's build her a sink while she's gone. Um, realism. Oh my god, Don, get over me. I'm obsessed. I uh, yes, just come in. Don't worry. Not rude or anything. Why have I got two of these? Quality poor. How dare you? This is a work of art. I have been working on this for at least 10 minutes. All right, we need to get on with this. Stop talking to your friend and keep painting. Oh my gosh. She's got too many basic needs. Although this Don guy's quite handy because he is just like popping around to speak to me. That's a good friend. What the hell is this? I feel like her paintings are getting worse, honestly. Like, what is this? <laughs> How is that realism? Didn't I select realism? Okay, we're gonna grind now. We're gonna grind now. She's hungry again. Well, you can eat all the food in your pockets, cause just eat your eat your delicious pocket sandwich. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna be good. Cook something. Garden salad. Single serving. Go on, you need some salad in your. Uh, do I need like another counter? Because I I will do it. Don't threaten me. I'll do it. Right by the door. Beautiful. I was like, oh, it's a cute cat, but I thought it was a bear. And I was also like, what's this situation with the the extra foot? That is horrendous. That is going that is going away from me. Celtic collector. Look at this guy. Freaking stalker. I'm not in, mate. Go away. She needs a toilet. Brilliant. Can you not just go to the toilet at your work? Is it illegal? Are you gonna get fired? Like, okay, she did. She did nothing. Never mind. She's back. Sell this piece of shimps. I'm being very critical when I also have to paint in a minute. So, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be that critical. Yay! She got a promotion. Art book collector. Brilliant. It's really pushing me towards becoming a painter. Oh no, don't embrace cooking. We c we don't have time. This one's kind of cool, but I don't like it. I'm sorry, we already have a friend and his name is Don Lothario. And you can't be our friend because we don't have room in our lives for more than one friend. Because he's a freaking stalker. Come on, get to painting. We don't have time for this. I should probably move the the easel so we can actually see what she's doing a little bit better. Ugh, he's feeling flirty. <laughs> Go away. Dawn, we ain't interested. We like you as a friend at best. Maybe not even that. You are a bit irritating. This on the wall. I need more room for my painting, so I'm gonna make a little gallery area. Okay, so far, these are the options. Not this. These two are just because I grew attached to them. Okay, I've got some goodness here. This will help me become better. Focus potion. No, I don't want flirty potion. Confident potion. What else? Instant hygiene is good. Because then that means that I don't have to waste time. She loves painting. Look at her face. She just loves it. I have to leave for work in one hour. Oh, just gets in the way of my career. My career. You know? 
So, so far we've got these as options. I quite like this one. This one's cool. I think my favourite so far is this one though, because it's more like what I like. You can't really see it because it's super dark, so let's just change that. Oh, I know why it's dark, because you haven't put windows in your new area. Now let's just make sure everyone can see exactly what I'm doing inside my house, and all good. I think this one would be cool to paint, but let's see. Let's see. He's talking absolute rubbish, isn't he? Yeah. Where's my pizza? I'm hungry! Oh, I haven't ordered the pizza. <laughs> Too busy painting. Typical. Is my pizza coming? Did she order it? Not sure. Where's my pizza? Okay, well my pizza isn't arriving, so I'm putting it down to making something myself, which is unfortunate, to say the least. This again. Really? This line again. You joking me? Ooh, I like this. Ooh, it's a masterpiece. Okay, awesome. There we go, there's a masterpiece. Let's frame it. We made it, guys. We did a masterpiece. So I think what I'm gonna do is paint this one. Try and recreate this in real life and see how I do. This is apparently a Sims masterpiece and I do quite like it because it's like an impressionistic painting and it's really cool. So let's get down to it. Let's go over to my canvas and start painting. Yes. Okay guys, it is now the next day and I'm ready to paint my Sim masterpiece and I'm hoping that it goes okay. First of all, I have my painting here of The Sims image and I'll put like a reference there for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna prep my canvas first. So I'm just gonna put on the wedges to help stretch out the, the actual material of the canvas. So what we don't want is the blazing white of this canvas like showing through the colours because that will affect overall how this presents to us. So I'm using my jelly gouache for this painting and underneath I think there's a bit of a yellow tinge to this painting from what I can see in this Sims image. So I'm gonna just do like a wash of like yellowy to take away from the white a little bit. My canvas is more or less stained now so I'm just going to start by adding colour or marking out shapes that are similar to the shapes on the actual image from the Sims one. I think like the Sims one it might be it might be actually a real painting because sometimes they do do that with like masterpieces but I'm gonna look that up right now. But yeah I'm just gonna like mark out shapes where I think they are in the painting. So we've got like this dark distance here and then we've got like the water here and then we've got like a boat here two boats. Then we've got like a figure here, right? So I'm just marking out lightly, sort of lightly, where everything might be. So we've got that figure and then this is sort of coming around here, like the walkway, I'm guessing it is a walkway, because I see like a promenade and then I see like fires here, right? So I'm gonna just outline where the yellow is a little bit, like in opposite areas so this is where the light's gonna come so we don't want to do it too dark there although it doesn't matter because this is gouache so but yeah I can definitely see where the water begins there's like a thick a definite line there right of this dark blue where the light is not hitting the ocean and then it comes down quite like a block here and it's continues up here into the distance where everything is sort of, you get the idea that everything is going this way into the distance. So the light is more, it's greater here because it's closer to us. Whereas when it's going into the distance, it kind of fades a little bit in this painting. What's really interesting about the Sims one is it's got like patchy areas where the light is. And I'm thinking that somebody has just like done like a Photoshop filter of a real painting. So I'm just going to paint all the areas that I think 
on the night sky. And actually the fires are more like here. Yeah. Night sky. This is really satisfying because I haven't done like a painting on a canvas in so long. So this is actually really like fun for me. So I'm really glad that I started to do this video. So this is like my interpretation of an interpretation of a painting. So that's kind of interesting actually, like what, what's it gonna turn out as? And at the end I'll probably look at the original painting. I think it must be an original painting, I'm gonna look it up. Okay, so funnily enough, it's actually a Vincent van Gogh painting, which I did not realize until I looked it up and I was like, yeah, duh. When I was looking at this, I was a little bit like, this reminds me a bit of van Gogh. And then, I was like, maybe this is based on a painting, duh. Well, yeah, it's based on Vincent van Gogh's um, Starry Night at the Road, I think. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but yes, that's what I'm painting right now. So... <laughs> Don't I look clever? <laughs> so, it's good to know that I am painting a real thing, because then I can like show you guys a comparison at the end. But yeah, pretty funny, pretty funny. I forgot when everything's a little bit watery, everything like seeps down on a canvas. It's quite cool actually painting um, the Sims version of this because it has really been like broken down into this like super simple generic shapes of the painting. So it's like been broken down into these really like defined areas of colour. So it's actually quite fun to copy what I see there and try and do the same sort of shape so I think it's like made it a bit easier so it's sort of like paint by numbers but sim style because to be fair I am painting the sims version I'm not actually trying to paint the van gogh version that I didn't even know was what it was <laughs> until now sometimes I like to mix the paint on the canvas it makes a quite satisfying colour so I've got like the purple and the dark blue here and I'm just mixing it onto the canvas. It's more fun. <laughs> Little kick kitten squeaks. Come here. She wants attention. Hello camera. Hello, I'm Mochi. She's super cute. Good girl. Nice. I'm kind of been liking it so far. What do you guys think? I'm gonna change my water and then let this dry and work on a bit of the lighter shades within the piece. From now on, I've got a lot of oranges coming in because there's like fires in the distance and then stars here. So we wanna like work on that. So the fact that we've got the, the solid darks down really helps us calculate where the light is gonna go and where the figure is. So I've just worked in like block shapes basically of all the colours and then I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to change my water, wait for this to dry, see you in a second. And we're back. As you can see some bits are still a little bit wet because where it's shiny that means that it's still wet but I don't care. I'm going back in and I'm excited to work on this so I'm just going for it. Uh, I want to add some like oranges now just to like start the process of seeing where they are on the page. One up here, right? There's one here. I feel like this is way too dark. I mean, I'm gonna go where I had the idea and the intention to go, so. It's nice and brown now. Fire here, fire here, and then suddenly they get like smaller as they go down into the distance there. Then we've got like the reflection, which is like here for each of them. So I'm just like doing really basic outlines of where, just to bear in mind where everything is. One thing I really like about Van Gogh is that at the time papers and things like that to paint on were really expensive. So the fact that he still went along and did what he wanted to do, despite the fact that no one liked it at the time, shows you that he had complete bravery in his work and he did it just because he loved to do it. So I think that's 
one of the reasons that he's very popular because he just did what he wanted and that's like impressive considering that nobody you know like enjoyed his work he was getting harsh criticism so I think that's something that really resonated with me when I was a young artist trying out you know just starting out I was like okay so there's this person who never received any recognition for his beautiful paintings at the time but still went and did them anyway because he loved to paint and that's something that stuck with me it's like just because if somebody doesn't like what you're doing that's not your issue like as long as you're enjoying what you're doing that's the important thing right I am really enjoying the process of this painting. It's like something that I haven't really done for ages is like painting on a canvas, like I said. So it's like really interesting to see if I'm like any better at it, if that makes sense. It's the last time that I painted on a canvas. Um, I think I am. <laughs> Uh, it's quite interesting. I really want to do more larger scale painting. I think the key to like Van Gogh style is just lots of like expressive lines and I think that this is kind of, I'm kind of doing it despite the fact that I have got like this sort of paint by numbers aspect to it from The Sims. It's kind of like deconstructing an image and then trying to reconstruct it again. We're nearly there in terms of like what I can see on this image from the Sims image. Like I know roughly, it realistically, probably in real life, like this doesn't really look like a proper Van Gogh or whatever. But I think I'm getting pretty close to what the Sims image looks like, so I'm pretty pleased with that. I just need to add like a few more details here and there, and I think I'm gonna say that this is done. But yeah. Just a few more things to do. I think like up here, I put these stars way too close together and there's sort of like a darkness between them. So I wanna create that space a bit better. Definitely left too much space on this side of the canvas compared to like what is actually there in this original piece in the sim painting, but sure it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it there. What do you guys think? I really enjoyed doing this painting and I think this video is really fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. I'm just gonna show you some cool shots of this image. 
whilst I do, I'd like to remind everybody that I have my comic out on Etsy, and also I have a Patreon down in the link in the description if you fancy it. Please, please check it out. Thank you very much. Thank you. And yeah, so this is the final painting, and I really had fun with playing with the textures and the shapes, and just like pushing on paint and pushing it around and just expressing myself and with not too much pressure. I said recently that I was doing a lot of fan art because it helps take the stress away from trying to use the imagination side of things and then you can focus more on like practicing your technique and I've been doing that a lot recently so this was like a good example of that where I'm copying something because I'm practicing my technique and I didn't have to think too much of where things were going in my head so it was like easier to just explore that and obviously don't always do that because you've got to make your own work but it's always good to take a step back and look at some other stuff or draw inspiration from anything and even the sims the video game could be a good source of inspiration for you maybe please like and subscribe to this channel and that would be super awesome of you and i hope that you guys enjoyed this so i will see you next time bye